Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create the raining effect in iClone 7. This is my iClone 7. To create a raining effect, first you have to click here the content and click this icon. You can see a particle at here. So click the small arrows here and click Click the arrows beside the legacy and you can see the environment. Click the environment and here you can find this the rain. Drag into your icon 7. So when you play, you can see this is a heavy rain. Right now I'm going to stop it. Check your scene and click this. You can see an emitter setting. If this this 500 I change to 50, what will happen? Just have a try. It will become not that heavy. Okay, this is how can we change it. The default is 500. Now I use 100. The raining effect is just like that. So remember to turn this off, make it invisible so that when you render it, you don't want to see this. Okay, this one, you also can change location. But when you play with that, the raining is everywhere. So you no need to worry about the location as long as you just put there and make it invisible. And that's all for today for how to create raining effect in iClone 7. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel and remember to turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive the notification immediately. See you in my next video and, and let's have fun, enjoy and happy animations. See you.